I had touched for a moment on extremities and the importance for anyone really listening, the absolute importance on utilizing extremity in the search. In one search, going to the extremes is, again, not just important, but absolutely essential. I'm going to relate it to the test of, let's say, a friendship. It's only in the test of the extremities of what one is willing to go through for another that you get to see how true a friend really is. Or if they're not a friend at all, they're just someone who jetted off at the earliest opportunity as soon as things got difficult. The extremities reveal everything. They reveal how real anyone is. Each of us as individuals or as a collective, obviously. And it's only in the absolute extremities that the true hearts, as I've been saying, are found. Only there. It's not in these happy mediums. Again, not just in couching oneself into the creature comforts. You don't find the real hearts in just laziness in these modern day realities of this place. There's no test of that. The whole quarantine period, a lot of you got to realize just how few friends you actually had. How many ran to get their vaccine as fast as possible and didn't care that you were locked out of society. They just said, well, I got mine now. I did the thing the government told me to do. I got the vaccine and now I can go into the restaurant. I can still fly to go on my vacation. And and you didn't because you hold a different set of beliefs and viewpoints about it. Well, that's too bad for you. You know, you can you can still just go do the thing. You know, you can go get the shot and do what I did. But there's no way that you're going to do that, obviously. But they don't care. They just say, well, I got mine. Well, that's too bad for you. And very much in a direct way, even though indirectly, they're throwing you under the bus. They're just saying, I don't care that you're locked out of society because... You've made this choice that you've been researching for so long, you know, about how horrendous these vaccines are, or mRNA technology, whatever the hell you want to call these things, jabs, shots, etc. And you didn't want to do that, and your friends said, well, it's so easy, you just have to go do it, it's not a big deal, and you're never going to do that. And because you didn't do that, you were being locked out of society entirely. These people who call themselves your friends, even your family, obviously. This is your family, and they all got their shot. And they were willing to just see you be locked out of society while they trundled forward with going to restaurants and getting on planes still, etc., etc., And they were okay. That's the statement. They were okay with seeing you be locked out. Does that make them a friend? Does that make them family? What kind of real family would do that? That's not not a friend. That's not a family member in my view whatsoever. If they saw what was going on, they go... Okay, so if I get the shot, because, you know, I have no problem with it, and I can do these things, but my family member doesn't want to get the shot, and they're going to be locked out? Well, no, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with them being locked out. So, because of that, even though I, as an individual, believe in, you know, the medical system and, and all these things, 
I refuse to get it because that's going to mean that they're going to be locked out of society. And there's no way I can allow that. I completely disagree with that. So look at the statement that was made with all these so-called friends and family members and they just got their shot and just were okay with you being locked out. It's like, well, you're just going to have to change your belief. Well, that's not going to happen. I am never, ever, through all of eternity, going to change my belief about this. This is a horrendous thing. It's like I will never change my viewpoint about harming others, ever. I don't care what evidence you try to direct towards me, to try to convince me like you're a politician. Oh, sometimes it might be okay to harm someone. No, it's never okay, ever. I don't care how much you try to sell me on the idea. It's a bullshit idea. You will never, ever be able to politicize it. Or make me believe in that wrong idea. No matter how much you try. So that's also part of going to the extremes. The testing of these ideas as well. And unless one does that. You're not doing the true test. So that test obviously of going to the extremes. Was partially done with the whole vaccine shutdown. And how many of us got to experience what it felt like to be left out in the cold and in a certain regard, obviously. Many lost their jobs. All these things happened, right? And those close to us, our so-called friends, family, and neighbors that got their shots, their statement was, yeah, I'm okay with that, you know, person being left out in the cold even though I call them my brother, my sister, my son, my daughter. Well, they're just, they're making the wrong choice. They're not listening to the government and the medical system. How horrendous. What kind of shittiness inside of someone would ever be okay with that? And these were the statements. that The whole vaccine campaign, this whole quarantine... It wasn't even the extremity. And that's what I'm saying. It wasn't the true extremity. It was the preview of the extremity. And again, this is, this is just from my viewpoint, right? Anyone can believe whatever they want about what's to come in the future. That's an individual choice. 100% it is. But unless one tests the extremities with those in their life, you're not going to find out the truth. Unless one tests the extremities of what one conceptualizes they know, they they believe they know, take your questioning to the extremes, the absolute limits of what you can hold within yourself and see if it holds true that's the only way that's the only way to be sure at all and of course as I say the further out in the extremes it goes the more that each individual is tested what is one one willing to risk and to lose to find out the truth for Are you willing to lose everything to find out? That's the question. And of course, what is one willing to lose to acquire the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of the heart? Hopefully, one is seeing where I'm going with this. Is one willing to lose anything? Or just line up for their shot, line up for their mark, and get their ration of supplies. I'm not willing to lose nothing. Look what I've worked for. I've already done so much. I've worked so hard for everything that I have. I'm not willing to lose nothing. There is no kingdom of heaven anyways. It's all a lie. Well, there you go. 
See, you just conceptualize it as a piece of fiction and you move on. Tra la la, you're done. It's not, that's not on me. It's it's all a personal individual choice. What one believes or doesn't believe about not just what's in front of them in the reality of today, but what's to come. And of course, yeah, who knows what the future holds, right? But again, the question being, what is one willing to risk or to lose? Ever. Think about it in terms of your family. What would you do for the family members that you love? How far would you go to protect them? Would you be willing to risk and lose everything to protect them? Not just asking that as an empty question. Or would one just respond like so many friends and family members did and just say, oh, I'm unwilling to risk or lose anything. I'm just going to do what the government tells me. Get my shot, get my mark, do what I'm told, get in the corral line, and that's that. I'm willing. I'm not willing to risk a damn thing at all. Go to extremes, forget it. I have a comfortable couch at home and a 50-inch screen TV or whatever the hell. I believe everything is going to be hunky-dory. I believe in science, the promise of science. And we're at the cusp of the, the dawn of a new day. That's what this is all about. And of course, extreme means extreme. This is what has always been meant when I have said all in. It's not half in or three quarters in or 90% or even 99%. It's the entirety. Nothing held back. It's most likely not being conceptualized. Nothing held back. That's what it takes. With everything is on the line. See it this way. Everything is on the line. All of eternity. What is it going to take to save it? I'm not kidding at all in the slightest. It's an emergency. Eternity is on the line. Or you could listen to the clown jokers. That just think that everything is just totally fine and dandy. You know, absolutely everything is on the line. And just because you can lay in your couch right now in this very moment, it doesn't negate that there is a very real emergency happening. Or you could believe otherwise. Just, no. You'll just be laying on your couch for the next 50 years watching... The next 10,000 seasons of whatever the hell is coming on some streaming service. On your probably 800 inch screen TV in the year 2050. Or whoever, whatever the hell. So, everything is on the line. What's it going to take to save that? Is it going to take a 90% effort? Even 100%, you know, it's been said, 110% effort. That's probably not going to be enough. You're going to have to dig in. An individual is going to have to dig in and find something so deep within themselves that they didn't even know was there. Way beyond 100%. Way beyond it. And this is what is called the spirit. This is really what the heart is all about. What the true extremity is. It's not just what you think you you have inside of you. It's about the impossible that's within you. No, that's impossible. That that person shouldn't have made it even a a tenth of the way at all, even a one hundredth of the way, and yet there they are, they're still going. That's impossible. 
Yeah, it's because it's going to the absolute extreme. And this is not the last I'm going to be talking about this. It's just a starting point. And there is no fallback plan. There is no second chance. That's also what all in means. It's all or nothing. Everything is on the line. Nothing can be held back. Absolutely nothing. It's going to take every last ounce of effort. Every single ounce. And and some, as I'm saying. Going into the impossible. Which is the heart. Then, then one conceptualizes what going to the extremes are and what the real test is. Not those who aren't willing to risk a damn thing at all. Just trying to save themselves, remaining their comforts and illusions. Well, anyone who wants to conceptualize that that's what the heart is all about, go ahead, have at her. I've, I'm not holding you back. Hold those beliefs all day long, every day. Go start your own channel and start talking about the heart and what you think it's all about. Have at her. You have free reign to do that. You have access to these public tools. Why aren't you doing that? Spending your time here instead. Trying to stir shit up, stir the pot. Create more confusion. It is going to be found out how far one is willing to go for the kingdom of heaven, for the heart. Absolutely it's going to be found out. There could be a will to deny that. All day long, every day. Go ahead, believe whatever you want. Have at her. Yeah, I'm going to be bringing up this topic again. But we had to start somewhere. Take care out there. I'll talk to you again soon.